Hey, what is going on YouTube? <laughs> oh God, as you can tell I have a cold, but you know, as I said, every Sunday I am going to be doing a video, so I'm gonna be doing a damn video. It's not gonna be much of a funny video, but you guys heard me talk about this topic on JK News, but you know, you guys still want me to elaborate on my channel, so I'm going to. Now recently a YouTuber, Name uh, Shane Dawson. Um, not Shane Dawson. <laughs> now I'm not gonna get too much into the specifics. You guys can do your own research. A lot of other YouTubers have talked about this, so I'm gonna give you a basic rundown. So Shane Carl basically got outed by this cam girl who he was talking to online. You know, very sexually, as most people do with cam girls. So basically, in their DM, she kind of like took that screen cap and pasted it out, and she just said, "Well, this is how a family man talks to women." Blah 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 blah. And topically speaking, for the headlines, people are calling him a cheater, a horrible person, or whatever, whatnot. And if you guys are asking my opinion on this, let me just give you guys a quick breakdown. Number one, it sucks. You know, I know of him, but I don't know too much about him, but I saw his channel and he's a family vlog channel. He talks a lot about family values, hanging out with his, you know, five beautiful kids, his beautiful wife. And this type of thing comes up and it kind of tarnishes his brand and his name. When you're a YouTuber and there's like a lot of people who follow you and idolize who you are as a human being, um, it, it, it affects more than just your personal life. It kind of affects everybody that follows you, which is which is an, a crazy thing. A lot of like social media people or people who are quote unquote celebrities do realize that your actions and what you do and the stuff that you put out really does affect other people. So short after he put out an apology saying that he has a sick mind, uh, he, he's been drinking recently, he's been stressed out, he's tired of living this facade and um, he, he's just gonna stop making videos for a little bit until he gets better. Now. Here's, here's my opinion on this. First of all, to the cam girl, um, what the fuck? Clearly she wasn't doing this for some kind of moral thing. Uh, there was a couple of interviews where she said like he was talking to me like I, like I was an object, a piece of meat. She was offended apparently to certain reports that he said a comment called her disgusting because she mentioned that her kid was cute. So for him, it was kind of like, well, you're kind of crossing the boundaries between reality and this other personality that I have. Don't do that. So he got freaked out. Probably shouldn't have called it disgusting. The point of me saying that is that obviously she didn't really do it for like any moral reason. She wasn't trying to help his family out. He wasn't trying to help his wife out. So if any of you out there think that she did this noble thing because she is this, you know, hardcore like, you know, you should respect and treat women well, they, it's not that you obviously wanted some fucking attention, you bitch. Number two, people are saying that he cheated on her. Now, uh, cheating is a very relative term. Um, cheating is a very harsh term. Do I personally think that he cheated on his wife? Uh, in an emotional sense, probably yeah. By the way, if you read the text that he was, you know, writing to the girl, that shit was so crazy. It was like along the lines of like, yeah, I'm gonna stick my dick in your ear, poke your fucking, my, my, the tip of my dick in your retina. You know, and obviously he has like this hyper aggressive, like sexual side. The, the cheating part comes where you don't communicate with the person that you're with and your wife, and if you wanted to, explore certain options or that was something that was falling apart you should be open enough to talk to your partner about it um so in that sense i guess like emotionally there was some cheating involved it also depends too if you're in a relationship and the person that you're with is or is not okay with you watching porn if she's okay with you watching porn is it really cheating to me probably not and number three the biggest message that i want to get across and it's something that i always bring up on my channel and i stress all the time fucking just be yourself be honest with who you are and i did a video not too long ago where i told you social media is not real and people sometimes don't seem to understand this and i keep saying it and it just goes right over your fucking head so i'm just gonna say it again because you guys do follow me and you do sometimes listen to what the fuck i'm saying so i'm gonna say it one more time how many times do I have to tell people social media is not real? It is not a real representation of who these people are. That's why I always tell people, man, just if you're gonna do something, do it wholeheartedly and be yourself because if you're gonna keep up a facade, you have to do it for the rest of your fucking life. Can you act and not be who you really are in front of the whole world to the day that you fucking die? Are you insane? Life is way too fucking short. The guy is a bit of a fucking freak, but he built this channel on this brand based on him being this wholesome, like family guy, which you know, he probably is. I'm guarantee you, he's great to his, his wife, he's great to his kids. Uh, you know, a majority of the time, he just has this weird fucking fetish and he didn't know what to do with it. And so he whacked off to this girl's titties. Like, it's so fucking fascinating how you guys keep seeing this shit 
over and over and I, I, and I and I just really want people to understand it because you keep seeing all these youtubers come out with their depression all this like scandal like oh my god I thought this guy was the most positive fucking human being on earth you know he does this he talks about his charity work he does all that doesn't mean fucking shit a lot of people out there have this concept that if it's not posted if I don't publicize it then it's not real and the things that people post and write and Instagram about is more their real life than what they're actually doing. Think about that shit. The weirdest thing now is that people can better fabricate a life than live a life now. Here's the thing, and I'm gonna take this to the grave with me because I'm not saying this from somebody who hasn't experienced this himself. When I was younger, man, like I wanted to be everything that I wasn't. I hung out with a bad crowd because I thought I could do the stuff that they were doing, but I couldn't. So every day I would put up this stupid fucking front and act like something I was. You know what, here, here, here I'll, I'll put it like this. If you guys go to my uh, YouTube videos, go to the very first time I ever vlogged. It was like me in San Diego cracking jokes or some bullshit. Um, and I was super calm. I was like, yeah, hey, so this is what it is, blah, 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 blah. I didn't talk like that. The first time I spoke like myself was that UCLA Alexander Wallace video. And that was who I am. Loud as fuck, opinionated as hell. And people responded to that every time that you go out there and you pretend like you are something that you are not, that thing inside you just starts to fester and it just grows bigger and bigger and bigger until it fucking leaks out or rips out or destroys you. But if you recognize who you are or if you even recognize the issues that you have in terms of this guy and his sexuality and he's talked about it, spoke about it with his family, his wife, the people that he was close to, he could have better dealt with it. And I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people out there who look at my channel, this guy's obnoxious, he's a piece of shit, he always talks about shit that he doesn't know about, when he says certain things later on he takes it back, yeah of course I do motherfucker because I'm face value, yeah I may say things that yeah I, I kind of believe in at the time, but there could have been somebody else I met that changed my fucking mind, so of course I'm gonna change my opinion. I'm not gonna stick to my guns if I was fucking wrong and then somebody corrected me. No, I'm gonna go with the shit that's correct. I'm not that stubborn. You know, my father told me something a long time ago and it, it always stuck with me um, because I'm pretty sure he saw me growing up like, who the fuck do you think you are, man? You're a kid who got a good family, you got a mom, you got a roof over your head, you got food in your stomach and you act like you just, you know, like you're like this hood ass stupid kid and you're not that. You know, he told me this and, and I and I really kind of took it to heart. If you live an honest life, there is nothing bad that can happen to you. Not in the sense that there's not bad things that will come your way, is that if you know that you have done everything right, you can live at peace with yourself. It doesn't mean that if you're an honest person, other people are gonna be honest and not try to take you down, but you can be confident in your choices and know that you were in the right, that you stuck true to your guns that when you go to sleep, you can go to sleep at night easy. Just to top this off, there might be a few people who disagree with me on certain points and that's completely fine. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, this dude, I don't know you man, but you know, I don't, don't, don't kill and beat yourself up so much. Just be honest with yourself and just learn how to communicate a little better and you'll be okay. You don't gotta tell yourself that you're a sick fucking freak. Yeah, you had a, the, you know, you talked to a cam girl and you know, she got what she wanted out of it. She was talking to a famous guy. She even said it herself. Like who, how, why would I ever deny talking to somebody that famous? Who would? So obviously her, her motives weren't really pure herself. And if for her, once again, and I say this, if you felt like he was using you for cam girl purposes, that's exactly what he was doing, whether it was on a DM or not. You know, if you thought it was something more than that, then that's something that you guys probably should have communicated, but don't try to come out and act like you're this fucking angel and this victim in this situation. Bullshit, I call bullshit on that. In the comments below, what do you think? Because, you know, there are some people out there who are his fans and how did you view him as? And when this news came to you, how did it affect you? Like, how did it make you feel? Cause I'm pretty sure if you guys saw, you know, news came about me where I was jacking off to a picture of a fucking uh, pumpkin, you guys would just laugh. <laughs> Hey, what is going on YouTube? So that was a topic that a lot of people mentioned. And once again, I'm sorry that I'm sick, my voice is out, but um, but yeah, I'm just, uh, you know, you know, my heart goes out to people like this. I mean, you guys put your um, your lives out there. Sometimes things like this happen and you just gotta be prepared for it. So um, yeah, leave whatever you guys want me to talk about. I'm here for you, man. Like we're, we're, we're gonna do this. I don't have a lot of time nowadays, but I, I can make time for y'all. So uh, I'll see y'all next week.